Hello everyone. Welcome again. As you can see, my screen, uh, it's a console Google dot cloud. Okay. Like it's a Google cloud. So to get it, you can go to console.cloud.google.com. Okay. And you need to have a DGB account and a project. Okay. So in this uh, tutorial, you are going to learn a very amazing thing. Okay. In which uh, we are going to understand the dataplex, which is a lake house in this uh, GCP which actually provides a uh, very much flexibility in order to do query like with the big query tables and all okay you can review your data and uh, its quality also it's a very useful in order to discover and manage your data data monitoring and governing the data across other data lakes data warehouses and the data marts okay so um this is a very uh useful uh thing and its name is dataplex okay now the thing which you need to have which is uh necessary that you must have your uh, google cloud account and a project okay when you log into your google cloud okay so there on the top here you can actually see we have a cell okay. so keep it here okay What I need to do is that I need to activate um, the clouds activated. See the activated list. So let's authorize it. So it will show me. Uh, so it's a uh, account which is uh, provided by Quick Lab. So you can again having a thing for a Quick Lab. Okay. Or you can go through a Google Developer Program. Okay. Where you can get all this access. Okay. Um, you can also configure the list project. And it's active at cloud cell two, four, three, four, six. Now what you need to do is that just go through this. Uh, let's find so we need it up API. It's a cloud data pro, pro API. What you need to do is that you just need to enable it. Okay, let's close it.
The thing is that it will take time. Every process will consume some minutes of yours. So don't worry. No matter what is your the speed of your internet is, it will take time. Okay. So everything is perfect. Don't go and see the prices and all, otherwise you will stop doing these things. Now let's come to this uh, cloud and it's a dashboard for Let's come in analytics, okay? And in this analytics, what you need to do is that you need to find this uh, dataplex. Okay. Ignore everything which you are getting here. Okay, as a beginner, you can you can take some learning uh, from here. Okay, it will give you some brief or step to a step, step by step uh, process by which you can learn these things. So for now, just close it. I don't need to go through all these things. Let me the network. Let me share it again. Okay. So uh, here you can see that on the left side, we already have this dataplex. Okay, now what you need to do is that just click on this, uh, like what we are going to do is that we are going to work on the lake side. Okay, so for that thing, we need to create, manage it. So for managing, let's come to this manage and create a lake. Okay, so for this, Lake, what you need to do is that you need to give a display name. It will generate a IT based on the display name. After that, what you need to do is that just select the closest uh, or the required reason for your uh, location. And then what you can do is that you can simply create your lake. Okay. So uh, for now, this is. Uh, the lake which I'm going to create and I'll name it uh, e-commerce lake. Just remove this. Okay, so with this, uh, you can see based on this display name, it's already creating a ID here, okay, which is uh, visible to you, okay. And now for the zone, I'm going to take US East one. For now here, you can see that it's a central one. So I need to pick it East one. So I just choose a thing where you are residing or nearby the thing, okay. Just create it. So when you click on this create, it will take at least two to three minutes. Okay. So it's uh, South Carolina, USA. And uh, it's uh, taking time. It will take time for three minutes. Hmm. Meanwhile, I can um, request you all that if you are uh, planning
to be a data scientist or a data analyst or a machine learning engineer. So uh, it's good to have a knowledge, a sound knowledge about some cloud services. You can either pick Google Cloud or you can pick Microsoft Azure, okay, or you can pick AWS or IBM Oracle, okay. But the thing is that you need to have something, okay. And uh, if you ask me, you need to learn cloud, Google Cloud, and uh, Microsoft Azure, because these two services are adopted within our like industry, like which is uh, which are believing in innovation and uh, doing new things where you can grow your those who are dealing with the larger communities okay for there you can easily find these services and for that you need to prepare yourself so here you can see that it's a uh, status is changed from pending to activate okay here uh, the creation of this table has been done so it's uh, in uh, lakes commerce lake and which is finished now you can check here and with this three dot you can delete or edit it but that is not our concern now or okay so what you need to do is just that just click on this e-commerce now you can see that we have a thing here add zone so when you click on this add zone it will ask you to uh, put some zone okay so for that you need to create a id so in initially you saw that the uh, lake house which i created was e-commerce lake okay so in e-commerce let's create something related to the customer okay and make it like customer contact draw zone okay, so it's a uh, basically contact information for the customers okay. uh, just leave it everything as it is as a default you don't need to change it so it's original us east one okay if you want to uh, make some changes so like go to here so this discovery setting is all about like if you are enabling your lake house to discoverable by a by the users or not so you need to enable that so when you drag it down you can see that it's an enable metadata discovery so with this you are enabling it for the discovery and with this uh looks perfect and let's create it okay now it will it will take time and the time is it's taking time because like it's active now so what we need to do is that we need to add some like more informations into this okay and get some permissions okay, let me just go back click here it's good Let it complete first. What I need to do is that I need to bring some asset to this. Uh, 
So here you can see that it's uh, add assets. Okay. So uh, just click this. So what it what will happen when you will click it? It will take you through the BigQuery. Okay. So what you can do is that you can add asset. So my asset is BigQuery data set. Okay. So here is BigQuery data set. You can drop it down and check some other storage bucket where you have been stored your data. But for me, like it's a big query. The display name, I, I created an e-commerce link. And based on that, I have a customer contact that was raw. And within that row, I just need to extract the thing, okay, for uh, its a customer related thing. So that will be basically a contact info, okay. I'm going to put that in this. Okay. So this contact info is creating as an ID and the data set, I will simply put this. Okay. So this is the data set I have. Okay. Let's click on done here. Um, if you need to, if you want to add some more asset, you can simply click and add more asset to your um, query okay. or sorry, to your lake house. Let's continue. Let's make it keep it inherit. Don't overwrite. Just continue it. And if you want to review, you can review it or simply submit it. Okay. Now you can see that it's a uh, sorry. I I I jumped a stage where I need to. Anyways, it will create it immediately. Just I need to set the time so that I I can be able to start the thing immediately. Just I need to check that schedule. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, so it's active and it's ready. Okay. So we have this lake house. In that lake house, we have this active zone for the customer and the contact info. Everything is ready. Okay. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's uh, come to the place where we can do the query. So this big query. Okay, done. So here you can see that we have this quick lab GCP. Just expand it. Now you can see that uh, uh, this is the customer underscore contact raw zone, which is recently created. Okay, is empty for now. Now we have this customers, which is a table. This customers is uh, having the contact info regarding the customers. And whatever the thing which we are going to do will be uh, come into this customers DQ data set. Okay, so let's uh, start. For that, what we need to do is that just come to this query and that's a uh, right authentic select project name, select all from the GCP and order by ID and limit 
let's keep the limit 50. So this is the thing and let's run it. Okay, so we have this output and uh, here ID is null. So it is going from null to 0, 1, 2, like kind of that. So it's uh, increasing like 137 to going up to the 4167, 41676, because the limit here set is 50. If you want to check with the 75, just set the limit and run it. Okay, it will uh, create a record and give you the thing up to that. Okay, so it should, uh, maybe it's a uh, 50 is a uh, set limit here. Is the data okay? You can save result from here or you can explore the data okay with the sheets with the looker if you want to create some insights. You can directly go to the looker if you want to explore with the Python notebooks. Just go here if you want to explore with the data canvas. Just click it okay. So I just clicked few, uh, it's a looker studio notebook canvas no that is not open so here i have some looker and i'll take you through there but meanwhile uh, let's uh, come to this just refresh Okay. Now, what uh, we need to do is that uh, I was doing something different. It's not. So, uh, in next step, we'll try some uh, something and we'll inspect the dataplex data quality. We'll also check requirements and everything will be defined under cloud DQ. It's a YAML specification files. Okay. So uh, for that, uh, I'm going to use uh, YAML. Uh, okay. For that, just come here. Okay. Just cancel. Open this, activate cloud cell. What happened to you, bro? I'll close it with new. Terminal tabs have been recovered from an existing session. Christmas. Hmm. 
okay so let's uh, save it and okay so i need to write some lines which is as in a metadata restricted for me. So for that, the thing you need to do is that I just save it. And for that, what you need to do is that uh, CTRLX, okay, and then Y. CTRLX and Y. Okay, so with this, uh, I save that. Now what I need to do is that uh, I just need to go through this. And clear the project. So the file is copying here and is completed. Okay. So we successfully completed this uh, process in which we uh, created like the thing was in this cloud cell, we uh, provided a list of rules which was designed to run a predefined customer uh, like management thing like it that is a customized rule for that contact info and that was filtering the subset of data for the validation process okay and uh, based on this uh, it was checking and identifying the null customers id and emails in the specified BigQuery table, which you saw like the first uh, info was based on null. Okay. So, yeah. Now, what we need to do is that we can define and run a data quality job in our data clicks. Okay. So, for this uh, data quality process, we are going to use a data quality specification a YAML file, which we just created. Okay. And uh, we are now going to uh, manage that link, okay, in a in our customer DQ data set, which you can see here. Customer DQ data set. So now, in this, okay, just. I'll just close it for better appearance okay what we need to do is that let's come back to the google cloud just save it It was saved. I'm not going to say it. Okay. In this analytics, what you need to find is that you need to find this data. Let's, okay. So what we are going to do is that we'll go in this data plex and we'll create a task. Okay. So how we are going to do is that uh, earlier you saw that we created and uh, uh, created task with the manage legs. Okay. 
This process is not finished. Okay, so we have uh, in a process in this manage lips, we are working on this process. So for this process, what you need to do is that first thing that just create a task. Here on the top, you can see that it's a task. And the task is related to the data quality. Okay, so just click on this create task. For this, you need to provide some, uh, uh, you can say information regarding the data place lake and uh, display name. Based on that, it will take the um, ID, okay, and it's an e-commerce link. It's, it's a customer job ID. Just keep it. So GS GCS file. We can browse it from here. Okay. Or you can simply copy. Paste. This is the YAML file which we just created. Now we need to select the BigQuery data set. Okay. So the BigQuery data set we have is uh, Quick Lab GCP01 customer DQ data set. Oros displays. Big query table we have. We have this customer tables as a big query table or DQ results, DQ underscore results. Okay. DQ underscore results, which is the big query table we have. Okay, and based on this, uh, we are going to keep okay. so for the service account, we will keep it compute engine default service account notebook. Okay, default, 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 default. Uh, don't need to add any levels or. I will type in just copy. So run it once. Uh, just keep it immediately. Like if you want to run it immediately, and schedule. Suppose if you want to schedule it, like from uh in hour or in two hours or every week of the every Monday of every week like that, and repeat that. So you can choose anything like repeating as the with this dates and all. Just run it once and go and create it. So this will take a few minutes. Okay. It will take its own time.
so the status you can see that it's running okay here you can check everything is uh, in queue and is running okay which i just wanted to show you okay how it works behind the scene running against okay. ice bar So how many of you are like enrolling yourself in a uh, learning journey as a data analyst, machine learning engineer, or doing some MTech or integrated MTech PhD from um, tier one institutions and in collaboration with a lot of big names and institutions. If you are doing those things are good, just follow uh, their instructions. But at the same time, what you need to do is that it, you need to develop your own ability. Okay. Uh, like if you have been developed your own ability, trust me, after basic education, you don't need to take any degree or any certificates you can keep learning you can keep practicing get ready to fail in every step and make yourself uh, a believer and enough is strong to start again okay so uh, But uh, I'm not against that. With that, uh, of course, you will gain a lot of things. Like, if you'll start doing self-study, that will take a lot of time. And uh, with expert experts' guidance and supervision, you can learn things faster and in a better way. Okay. And I just include it, like, with that you also need to do these kind of practices. Anyways. succeeded Yeah, so this is it all by my side. Um, I hope you know the big query and the stuff. So what you can do is that you can simply go to this uh, Google Cloud, select this 
pick query and start querying your required things out of this okay just expand it see was empty and now is having a lot of things so what you can simply do is that you can select any like suppose uh, it's a dq results okay so here you can see that we have these null level okay and let's select this field records okay so here you can see that uh, this is let's run it let's see these are the things which you need to work on okay. so now you can start implementing your engineering brain okay so this is all by my side and if you want to ask anything uh, you can add your comment but at the same time i don't think that i am that much expert to advise you but yeah we can solve and try to like we can try to solve things together see you bye and uh, i'm signing off see you